Hey guys, I'm Sarah Nichols. Welcome back to La Liga Weekly. There's pain and suffering until the very end because the fight to stay at the top can lead to a lot of upsets. After all, anything can happen in the world's best soccer league. Okay, so think of any epic showdown you can muster. Mm -hmm. Got it? Well, I'll bet none of them can match the challenge of making it to fourth place. I'm not trying to upset anyone, nor do I want anyone to cry because the best league in the world will come to a close this week. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay because we'll be back next season and we'll be ready to keep serving up the best soccer facts, stats, and figures. And here are the games you've been waiting for. Alaves versus Girona. Porto and Stuani, two stars that have shown brightly in La Liga. The Spaniard showed us that he has great speed and is closer to a soccer ball than you'll ever probably be to anyone you've ever loved. And speaking of love, Stuani's goal tally has placed him fourth in La Liga's table. The Rojiblancos will have to rally their troops to stay in La Liga Santander. And in order to do so, they'll have to defeat Alaves, which at one point during the season was at the top. Of course, Alaves is happy to stand in their way to deliver their own fans the thrill of another Babasorros victory. Celta de Vigo versus Rayo Vallecano. Girona needs Rayo to defeat Celta. Araujo's team has suffered two losses in a row, but of course Celta is coming in with an ace up its jersey. Who else? Iago Aspas, La Liga's fifth place striker this season. So get your snacks ready and start practicing those stadium chants. Sevilla versus Athletic Club. Two teams that'll fight until the end. True to their nickname, the Athletic Club is roaring through the closing season and they're coming to their final game more motivated than ever now that they've defeated Celta. They've managed to find their wings after a turbulent start and international competition is in sight. As we all know, the skies can change quickly and Sevilla is happy to rain on their parade to claim fourth place for themselves. Of course, Ben Yedder and Sarabia are looking to gift their fans with a final victory. From match day 13 to 17, the Athletic Club has remained 18th in La Liga's rankings. Not many thought they'd be able to hang on, but anyone who's been keeping up with us here at Media Coach knows that their efforts have been prolific. Had the tournament gone on a little bit longer, they might have made it to the European competition. On match day 28, they made it to 9th, and by day 32, they were up to 7th, where they remained for six weeks in a row. They'd have to score big against Sevilla in order to knock them off balance, but with the way things go in La Liga, anything's possible. Sevilla, that's right, Sevilla was in the lead three times during the season, but they lost their mojo at the end, and now they're struggling to stake their claim at the top of La Liga's table. Who are you cheering for? Valladolid versus Valencia. Ronaldo has brought a lot to Valladolid and they'll be rewarded by staying in La Liga Santander. The Brazilian has motivated the team and now they'll face Valencia. We're in for a game that's gonna be lit. Valencia was just one step away from making it to the European final and they'll surely be coming in with, you know, a little chip on their shoulder next year. With three out of four victories during their last games, it won't be surprising if Valladolid gets the win even though they're coming in as the underdog. And here are some questions to consider for this week. Will Guardado and Lainez be able to defeat Real Madrid to finish the season on a high note? And will the Azulones, as Getafe is known by their Spanish-speaking fans, sink their teeth into the sweet slice of a fourth place standing? Let us know what your favorite moments have been during the 2018-2019 season. Don't miss the final games on Bean Sports. It's not soccer, it's La Liga. And I'm Sarah Nichols. Thank you so much for joining us during this amazing season. See you next time.